Well, this is the F and G show. The F and G show. We are back. That's right. Usually we'll be talking about wine. Mm. Yep, but not this time. <laughs> <laughs> My man Frank said he wanted to get it in with a little bit of this eighteen hundred. Yeah, I tried it at his house, and uh, what was it? Peach. It was the peach flavor, and it was pretty good. What is it? Margarita. Yes, yes. Margarita. This, this one, uh, we have black cherry. Black cherry. So we're gonna be rocking with this black cherry. See what it tastes like. I think it's only nineteen point eight or nine um, percent mm -hmm. alcohol, but it's um. Ready I to guess serve. that you consider that juice, basically. Well, I mean, it depends on how much you drink. You know, it depends on what you drink. But let's try to see. It's a nice bottle. Yeah, a nice bottle. Yeah. Got some weight to it. But you don't get a buzz off of nineteen percent anyway, right? You well, you don't even get a buzz off wine either, because wine is about nineteen twenty-two. Really? Yeah, I think it right. is. Depending on what, how much you drink, I suppose, or what you got in your stomach. Yeah. But um, I bought this for probably about twenty-four, twenty-five, maybe twenty-six dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh We had the peach. I mean, uh, yeah, the peach. We haven't had um, black cherry. They sell it in mango, I heard, but we couldn't find it. So I don't know if. That's in a specialty store somewhere for mango, and we're going to find out what the black cherry tastes like. You said black cherry, right? Black cherry. Blackberry molasses. Now, you may see us drinking a lot, but we drink responsibly. Always. And uh, if you watch our videos back to back, you may think we drunks because every video we pull up, we drinking something. Mind you. This is only like once a week. Yes, once a week. Or every other week, depending on what we yeah, got Yeah, every other on. week, or sometimes even longer than that. Right. But, uh, no, we don't never drink to where we are stumbling. Yeah, stumbling. No, sir. Of course, he yeah. could drink much more than me anyway, so I never try to compete with him. And if we do... Although I did offer a challenge one day, but... He did challenge me. <laughs> Was that yes? That was this Saturday, wasn't it? Uh, Friday. Friday. I, I challenged, you challenged him. Me Friday, but I, I said, my mind. Uh, "Good, good. I'm glad you changed your mind. I'm glad he changed your mind." So, uh, <laughs> right now, the smell. I smell the black cherry. Yeah, you can smell the black cherry. Mm. Let's see what it tastes what the, like. That, that, there's something that we used to buy black cherry, black cherry grape juice. Right? This smells like black cherry. They have black cherry grape juice. Or <laughs> black what? Black cherry. Oh, black cherry. I thought it said Jerry. Black Jerry. Uh, <laughs> he ain't even drank yet. Okay. <laughs> I have tasted something like this before. It does taste similar. I mean, familiar. It's taste, it tastes like the normal Welch's grape juice or cherry juice or something like that. It has a little something in it. Now, um, usually, you know, they put the... Either the slushy, like the shaved ice and make it slushy or whatever, mm -hmm. or they put it on the rocks. Yeah. We just drinking it straight. Uh, normally, you put the little salt or sugar around the rim, whichever you want to have. Right, right. I don't like all that stuff. No, I don't need it. Blood pressure. Blood, oh. You can't fool with that salt like that. No, not the salt. That's mm -hmm. straight in the veins, man. Anyway, what do you think of it? Well, to be frankly honest... It has an overpowering cherry taste. Um, I don't know if I taste any of the alcohol. I take I taste more of the cherries. Yes, yes. So it's kind of like grape juice to me. So we don't know. It's, you see where it's set up here. Turn to the side. Mm -hmm. See where it's set right here. I guess when we get down to here, we can see if it really have an effect on us or not. If it doesn't, <laughs> we just know this is just a bottle of juice. Yeah, but it's, I mean, I guess, you know, you drinking and um, socializing, nice drink to drink to have a little bit of something on it. But I would, if I had this, I would add a shot of what would you add something a shot? else in there. Either a shot, since it's uh, margarita, I'll put a, a stronger, another shot of 1800 tequila, though. By itself. Put, right, right. I put That, that might there. help this a little bit. Let me put a shot. We got, next time we'll try that. Yeah, that might help us a little no bit. Tequila, I don't have any either. But I think a shot in this would be perfect. about plain tequila. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, since it's 1800, you might as well go ahead and get the 1800 tequila. Keep it in the family. Um, versus mixing it with um, you know, some other kind of you know, Corvo or anything like that. Yeah. So, 
that's my recommendation. It's it's, it's a nice beverage. I want to say you get liquor off it, but um, no, no, I don't think you're gonna get nothing. Let's drink a lot of it. Just a sugar high right here, I guess. Right, right. Basically, it's a, well, you know, I think the um the peach. Well, no, I can't say that because I had a bottle of wine, so. <laughs> I was thinking that gave me a buzz, but that was the because I had drunk some wine and then I drunk some of this later on, and I thought it was giving me a buzz, but it was probably the combination of the two. So that could be it. Then this could be a nice beverage to drink after you drink your drink. Right. To instead of to get off your rocker, you get nice and tipsy, and then you drink this. And this will keep you there. Maybe that that's probably maybe that's what it is. After yeah. you get something else in your system. Right. Because this is not going to do it. And. This is nothing going to do, but if you drink, try to drink this all by itself with nothing else, you just do, it's just juice right here. Yeah. For the so, non-drinker, I guess it'll be fine just for them to feel that they're drinking alcohol and they're right. drinking it. Right, yeah. You know, lightweights might be able to drink it and enjoy Right. It. This would be something, well, as I as opposed to this and wine in comparison, I would I drink this preferably over wine? I probably would say no, I probably would drink the wine. What would you what you think? I probably would drink the wine as well, um, but I wouldn't turn this down if this was around. Well, no. But no. if I had a choice, I would go with the wine. Do you think the um, the peach is overpowering more overpowering than the cherry? Is the cherry, is the cherry more this overpowering? This one seems more overpowering than the peach, I, it, for what I recall. But um, we just have to grab another bottle of that peach and see what we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause we got the blood orange at the house, but that'll be next time. Uh, any final th thoughts, man? Words? Anything? No, I guess you were right. I guess you were right. I would have to top this off with, with a shot of something else to go with. Well, we wouldn't put anything else other than 1800 tequila plain right, to kind of right. cut down that cherry taste overpowering. That would be what I would do. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here from Frank from the FNG show. Yes. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back and sip some more on this as we watch our uh, uh, one of our premiere movies. <laughs> it's premiere to wherever we pick out. It'll be premiere to him. I've yes. seen it a thousand times. So, Star Trek. One of Shrek them. One of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it from us. See you next time. We out. We're out. <laughs>